Hi, good morning everyone. Uh, well, this is a new thing for me. I've never done a vlog before and I thought I'd try it because Kelly Berkey has sort of inspired me. She has done a few of them and I always really enjoy them and I have a piece of art to show you today that I've had a hard time um, taking pictures of and scanning because it's uh, bigger than the scanner area so I have to do it in a few pieces. Um, and also because Blogger has been giving me some trouble and it takes me a long time to write something and get it to look the way I want to and so I thought I'll just try this and see how you like it. If you like it I'll do it a little more often plus I think it'll be kind of a fun way to um, show a piece of art. So here it goes. This I don't know if I'm finished with this. This is a piece of art I just did. I'm having trouble here getting it figuring out how this works with the camera. But um, I used a lot of iridescent colors in it, which is why it is uh, hard to photograph because depending on how the light falls onto it and and uh, what where I position it, it looks very different from how it looks to me. So um, anyway, what I worked with in this, it's a little more abstract, actually it's a lot more abstract than my other paintings, but I, sort of feel like painting something just by how I feel rather than anything representational. And um, I used a lot of, I'm a texture junkie, so I have a lot of texture in this. And I wish you could feel it because it's really cool. It feels different um, all over the painting because I use four different kinds of papers. Uh, two, I think, are handmade. The third one might be handmade too, which is this one with a lot of fiber in it. But the two other ones we had gotten from a friend uh, back when we still lived in New Mexico, they're up here. You can see a little bit of the texture. Let's see. Do you see it right there, the texture? Um, these are from Mexico. They're handmade papers. And uh, I used two of those and then this one, this paper, and then just plain tissue paper that I wadded up. And instead of adhering the papers with gel medium like I usually do, I just uh, made them sort of wet and stick to the page with thin washes of acrylic paint. And so they stayed absorbent, which is, you know, when I could come in, why I could come in later on and, and uh, uh, drip on like uh, acrylic ink and have it sort of do these weird organic shapes because the paper was still wet. And then these bird-like things, they appeared from the, um, from the tissue paper drying uh, with air bubbles in it and the tissue paper was white and I hadn't colored it and so these little shapes occurred and I sort of went over them with um, some pearl uh, pearlescent uh, color so they're a little bit reflective there you can sort of see that um, I also I worked a lot with um, with pearl iridescent pearl and then also iridescent coppers. You can see them up here and I mix them into maroon and red and, and then into turquoise and uh, deep blue. And it has very, I love the colors in this. They're very rich um, and the textures are just cool. You know, I have trouble selling my pieces as uh, prints, but that's kind of what I do because I don't have a lot of the originals anymore. And um, because in the print you can still see that there was texture, but it just doesn't feel the same. I love, I'm, I just love the tactile qualities of this. I can run my hands over it and kind of feel as much as I see. Um, I had used some, I was making a uh, scarf with some uh, sari silk yarn and some of the fibers had come out and so I used, it's, it's this scarf, look at this. Isn't this cool? It's not quite finished yet, but I'll, I'll show it to you later on um, in another blog post. But I had attached, I had glued some of the um, fibers onto this, and then I didn't like it, and I tore them off. There's still some left. You can feel them here. You might be able to see them even. I don't know. You see any of them? But it tore some of the paper off, and it got through to the, the original layer that I had, which was a blue kind of thin wash. And so that's become very uh, translucent almost, and when the light shines onto it just right, it, it glows, which is really cool. Um, let's see what else did I do. Oh, I uh, got some at the Art Materials trade show. I got some from Golden, some of their tar, not not tar, their uh, glass bead 
um, ground, which is has little glass beads in the ground, just like it sounds. And when you um, when you put it on the canvas or paper, it gets all these. I have some here. I don't know if you can see it. I didn't use a lot of it, but um, I it gets to be very translucent and it does funny things with the light and then you can, you know, put washes of acrylics onto it. I haven't played with it very much, but I like the way um, it looks. I'm going to have to try that out a little more. Let's see what else. I don't know if this is finished. I have a hard time. I don't know how it is for you if you work more abstractly. Um, knowing when something is done. Uh, I've had this sitting in the living room for a day uh, or two and I sort of look at it and and after a while, when I don't feel like I need to change anything more, then I know it's done. But with this one, I'm not sure yet. So we'll see. If it develops any more, I will um, show it to you again. I'm also including a, um, a photo that I've taken of this uh, with the blog post. But I just wanted to show it to you like that because it's very cool how the colors play on it. And the next painting I'm painting um, is very big. So... Uh, we'll see how I can show that to you. I might have to do a video too because I think my nose it just I think I have um, I may be able to take a photo. I definitely will have a hard time scanning it. I'm trying to hold this straight. This is funny with the video. Anyway, I hope you're all doing great and that you're having creative days and I'm about to go outside to water. It is gorgeous here. The, the temperatures are cool. I had to close some of the windows today because the house was getting too cold and the sun is shining and there's no humidity and I feel like I'm in paradise. Anyway, wishing you a great day and I will see you all soon. Bye.